Hey girl, hey, what's up, dude? What is up? It is your favorite work from home content creator, Marley December in the His House. And today I will be sharing with you all information uh, for an AI researcher. This one is a viewer request. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to go ahead and get into the um, description of each of these positions. I have three of them, one of them being with John Hopkins. Um, that one will be last. So if that's the one that you wish to see, just go ahead and click on the timestamp because I do have timestamps for you. Um, and you can view that uh, information. And then if it's not something for you, just come back and view the first two. But as I stated, all of them are time stamped. I also want to thank those of you that have subscribed to the channel. You have highlighted your notification bell. You liked the video, left me a comment and shared the video with others whom you think may be interested. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, as you see on the screen here, we have, I think this is pronounced Holidayed. They are looking for a staff AI researcher. This is in Austin, Texas. It's of course in the technology engineering department. It's full time and it is fully remote. Now, as a um, staff AI researcher, you will develop, let's enlarge this a little bit okay so that her eyes does not have to struggle to see this small word um, you will develop or shall I say small text you will develop AI solutions that will improve health for millions of people here at Holiday we empower primary care physicians with technology to keep their patients healthy and prevent unnecessary hospitalization so your primary duties will be as follows you will build working prototypes using off-the-shelf and non novel AI technologies to deliver higher optimization levels for the company. You'll work with large complex data sets, solve difficult non-routine analysis problems to harvest data. You'll redesign current pipelines and systems to meet the growing data and query needs. You will implement techniques for fine-tuning and adapting pre-trained generative models to specific healthcare domains or tasks. You'll develop evaluation metrics and benchmarks to assess the quality and performance of AI ML models. You should have experience in designing and implementing feature engineering pipelines, including data processing, feature extraction, and transformation to optimize model performance. You should be able to set and uphold the standard for engineering process to support high quality engineering and deliver work POC solutions, solving speed, scalability, and time to market um, trade-offs. Your minimum qualifications should be as follows, a BS or BT tech or higher in computer science or a related field, three plus years of relevant deep learning and LLM work experience, eight plus years of relevant machine learning and statistical analysis experience, three plus years in Python or language experience, experience in addressing challenges for incomplete, unrepresentative and mislabeled data, experience working with large scale distributed systems at scale and statistical so um, software, and three plus years of demonstrated proficiency in selecting the right tools given a data optimization problem. These are some of your preferred KSAs, a PhD or master's degree in a quantitative discipline or equivalent practical experience. And these are some examples of that. Proficiency in communicating analysis and establishing um, confidence among audiences who do not share your disciplinary background or training. Experience with security and systems that handle sensitive data. Proficiency in at least one major learning framework. Um, and these are some of those examples here. With the ability to design and implement deep learning architectures. Experience working with statistical software. And these are some of the examples here. Demonstrated leadership and self-direction. 
first author publications at peer-reviewed conferences, and these are some examples of those conferences here. Winners in ACM, ICPC, NOI, IOI, or Kegel, and working knowledge of health tech systems like electronic health records, clinica data, etc. And your physical requirements, sitting for prolonged periods of time, extensive use of computers and keyboard, occasional walking and lifting may be required. If you are interested in this position, the link for this position will be in the description box. All right, and our next position, ML Architect Applied AI Researcher. Um, it's based in Venice, California. The job title is here. And the company overview is as follows. We are an innovative startup company at the forefront of the AI transformation underway. Our mission is to create a world where enterprise knowledge workers can harness the power of AI with no code workflows, all within a safe and secure platform. So they're seeking a highly experienced ML architect applied AI researcher with a specialization in deep learning and generative models to join their dynamic team. In this senior role, you will evangelize the latest AI research and guide the strategic architectural direction of their AI modeling and implementation efforts, including the evaluation and fine tuning of large language models and the evolving automation um, as they scale. The ideal candidate has a robust understanding of the recent developments in reinforcement learning with human feedback and can adeptly apply this knowledge in a practical setting. Your responsibilities will be as follows. You will lead the development, implementation, and continuous improvement of cutting edge AI and machine learning models with a focus on generative AI and LLMs. You will apply the latest research and industry framework advances to most efficiently leverage those advances into their products. You will act as a productive individual contributor. You will enhance fine-tuning models using private customer data turnkey. You will research, experiment, and define the approach for extending the product capabilities using agents. You'll evaluate the performance of existing models using a variety of metrics. Um, you'll leverage Kendo's rich data sets to fine tune models. You'll collaborate closely with other teams within the company to understand their needs and develop AI models. You'll mentor and guide junior team members in the development and implementation of AI models. You'll present complex concepts and the results of research projects effectively to both technical and non-technical audiences. And you'll lead research collaborations and partnerships with external researchers and institutions. Your required qualifications are as follows. A PhD in computer science, machine learning, AI, or a related field. A minimum of seven years of experience in AI research, with a strong focus on deep learning, generative um, models, and large language models. Extensive experience with the latest advancements in reinforcement learning for fine tuning. You should have depth of research and industry experience, building and deploying LLMs into production, not pure research. Proficient in machine learning frameworks, such as TensorFlow, um, PyTorch or others. Demonstrated ability to lead complex projects and guide junior team members. Excellent communication skills with the ability to explain complex technical concepts to a non-technical audience. Published work in top tier AI or machine learning conferences or journals is a plus. Strong problem solving skills and the ability to think critically and creatively and practical experience deploying LLMs into production. These are some of your preferred qualifications, not your required qualifications. On site in Venice for now, however, remote will be um, available in the future. Familiarity with open um, source frameworks like Langchain, 
knowledge of enterprise security best practices, experience with enterprise SaaS software. The company offers a competitive salary with equity package, comprehensive health, dental, and vision insurance, unlimited vacation and paid time off policies, flexible and dynamic work environment with opportunities for occasional remote work, the opportunity to work alongside a talented team of engineers and innovators, a chance to be a part of a groundbreaking company shaping the future of generative AI, and then this is information about the company's culture. If you'd like to, you know, come back and um, read any of this information here. And if you'd like to apply for the job, this is information about applying for the job, um, attaching your resume, your cover letter here, your educational background and so forth. And then these are some of the questions that you will have to answer and then click to submit whether it's a yes or no or for some and then type in whatever your answer is for others. Um, and then for each of these applications or these opportunities, shall I say, I will include the the pay if I can find it. If not, um, then that's something that you will have to check in with the recruiter to ask them what the pay for the particular position is. And now we will get into the information for the Johns Hopkins opportunity. And like the first opportunity with um, Holidayed. I'm going to enlarge the screen a little bit so that I can see this tiny text. Um, but as you see here, it is with Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. They are looking for a senior AI researcher, remote sensing applications. This is in Laurel, Maryland. Um, it's based in Laurel, Maryland. This is your job ID number. And of course, um, this is your primary area here. The department is Red Research and Exploratory Development Department. Um, there's no security clearance required. And then of course, your final security clearance um, would be secret. And then your work arrangement it is not remote. However, I'm still going to share it because I'm sure someone is looking for an AI researcher position. Um, so whether it's remote or not. So the job description for this, are you an expert in artificial intelligence, machine learning, or computer vision? Are you excited by how these rapidly evolving technologies are transforming the fields of remote sensing and earth observation? If so, we're looking for someone like you to join our team at APL. So they're seeking um, someone to come help them invent the future of intelligent systems and solve real world problems of national importance. They want someone who is highly skilled and motivated to lead and support research projects to strengthen the intelligence gained from multi um, model data, including images from Earth observing satellites. In this role, you'll contribute to and lead research projects in AI ML, improving our ability to understand, mitigate, and adapt to rapid changes in climate and resultant patterns of human activity. You'll use your skills in deep learning, computer vision, satellite image analysis, and information fusion in novel ways to address challenges determined by sponsor requirements. You'll cultivate a long-term vision of your own research interests and collaborate on technical proposals to bring that vision to reality. You'll work together with other APL researchers to grow and define your portfolio of AI research within the broader scope of intelligence and environmental resilience. And you'll communicate research outcomes to internal management, sponsors, and the broader scientific community through papers, presentations, conferences, and technical rep reports. Your qualifications should be as follows. Um, you should have an MS in a STEM field. And these are some examples of those STEM fields here. 
You should have five plus years of research experience, have demonstrated ability to conduct machine learning research studies um, to analyze remote sensing or environmental data, and to identify possible solutions to challenging problems given real world constraints. You should have strong programming skills and proficiency in commonly used ML language such as Python and ML and data science libraries such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and OpenCV, have excellent written and oral communication skills, and can articulate complex technical issues for a wide range of audiences, and the ability to obtain a secret security clearance if needed, um, and if selected, you will be subject to a government security clearance investigation, and you must meet the requirements for access to classified um, information. Eligibility requirements includes U.S. citizenship. You'll go above and beyond our minimum requirements if you have a PhD in a relevant field, have a track record of um, publishing your research in scholarly journals or conferences, you've been a project manager or led small teams, you have experience in writing technical proposals or other forms of business development, and have experience with imaging applications for national security. And then here is just a little information about why um, you should work um, for Applied Physics Laboratory at Johns Hopkins University. Um, they are an equal opportunity employer. Um, this is more information about Johns Hopkins. And then their salary, um, the minimum is about $90,000 per year with their maximum being at $330,000 per year. Again, this one is not a remote position. However, if you are still interested in the position, the link will be down below in the description box. All right, thank you for tuning in. You guys have an absolutely amazing Sunday or Monday or whatever day of the week you are watching this. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to highlight your notification bell so that you're notified each time I post wonderful opportunities like this. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment down below. Um, share the video out with others. And as I always say, be happy where you are while you work towards what it is that you desire. Mm -hmm.